Buhari uh, comes into office uh, with uh, a reputation for integrity and a very clear agenda. New chapter in Nigeria-America relations begins as President Buhari receives warm welcome from President Obama. I'm sure at the end of uh, the meetings that are going to be held by different uh, parties and sectors, uh, a lot of gains will be accessed. President Buhari gets down to business with top American think tank leaders, meaning for Nigeria's socio-economic development. And Vice President Oshida recalls for implementation of fundamental reforms in Nigeria's legal profession. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on NTA Network News. I'm Phil Stober. I was hoping you had a wonderful holiday period. The United States government has promised to support the Buhari administration in whatever way possible towards ensuring peace, security, stability and socio-economic development in Nigeria in view of its ripple effect on Africa and the developing world. President Barack Obama made the promise while formally welcoming President Muhammad Buhari at the Oval Office of the White House. He described the Nigerian leader as a man of integrity who is genuinely committed to addressing the numerous challenges confronting Nigeria, which he called one of the most important countries in the world. President Buhari uh, comes into office uh, with uh, a reputation for integrity and a very clear agenda, uh, and that is to uh, make sure that uh, he is being, bringing uh, safety and security and peace to his country. Uh, he's very concerned about uh, the spread of Boko Haram and the violence that's taking place there and the atrocities that just carried out, uh, and he has a very clear agenda in uh, defeating uh, Boko Haram and extremism uh, of all sorts inside of this country. Uh, and he has a very clear agenda uh, with respect to rooting out the corruption uh, that too often has held back uh, the economic growth and prosperity uh, of this country. Uh, on both these issues, we are looking forward to uh, hearing more about his plans and how the United States can partner uh, with Nigeria uh, so that Nigeria ends up being an anchor not only of prosperity uh, and stability uh, in uh, the eastern part of the continent, uh, but uh, can also be uh, an outstanding role model uh, for uh, developing countries uh, around the world. If you look at the European country, if you want to think of the European people, the question is the same as Nigeria's government. We look at the security that the people and start the political evolution of the time. We tell our neighbors to do the things that are either we want to be able to get these books on a party of both kinds. We get some security because we need to observe the security of the group and then we have to go to it. Well, President Bahadur Buhari began his third official visit to the United States with a touchdown at the Joint Base Andrews International Airport to a Russian reception at about 4 p.m. local time on Sunday. Leading a high-powered delegation comprising the governors of Imu, Edu, Masawa, Brno, and Oyo states, the CBN governor, former governor Rotimia Michi of River State, as well as permanent secretaries of the ministries of Foreign Affairs, Defense, Power, Trade, and Justice, as well as some members of the business community. He was received by senior U.S. government officials, including Chief of Protocol Ambassador Pierre Selfridge, the U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, James M. Twistle, and the Assistant Secretary of African Affairs, Ambassador Linda Thomas Grenfell, as well as Nigerian government officials. State House Correspondent Adam Sembu reports that during the visit, President Buhari inspected the ceremonial guard will be hosted at the Blair House 
the official guest status of the American president as a matter of honor. And after settling down for his official visit to the United States, President Buhari met key American businessmen and policymakers led by former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright. It was at a dinner he hosted in furtherance of his resolve to attract more investments into Nigeria towards boosting the economy and creating job opportunities. State House correspondent Adam Sambo reports. Since coming to power, President Muhammad Buhari has left no one in doubt in his determination to reinvigorate the nation's economy, fight corruption and impunity, as well as address the issue of joblessness and its attendant consequences on national security and stability. The meeting with prominent businessmen in the United States and beyond therefore provided the opportunity for President Buhari and his team to answer questions on all issues agitating their minds and also reassure them of genuine collaboration and cooperation anchored on the new spirit of change in Nigeria. Participants at the closed door meeting said the interaction, which also touched on governance and key sectors of the economy, was strong and promising to both parties. The Americans have high expectations as to what is possible under President Buhari, given his personal pedigree, uh, his reputation, his commitment to fighting corruption and putting an end to impunity. So, listening to them one after the other, you could see a renewed excitement, a renewed hope that this time around we have um, a captain you know, who can lead us to destination. I'm happy as a Nigerian that you know, the world will regain some recognition around the world. I think the president's response to each of the issues shows that he's quite at home with all the issues, he's aware of the challenges, uh, but he's committed that he has the will to deal with those challenges. This is just the beginning of a series of many other meetings that are to follow behind and well, I'm sure at the end of uh, the meetings that are going to be held by different uh, parties and sectors, uh, a lot of gains will be by the country in terms of uh, trade, cooperation, nuclear. The press would be deliverable for that. At the end of the last a member of the president. In fact, lack of the And then I 
out of nowhere. country that relent country from the staff general simply has done to that for remodeling and refurbishing the Adetokmo Adimola Dining Hall. The Vice President has since returned to Apuja. Jide Onifade, NT News. A suicide bomber has detonated an improvised explosive device in a vehicle at a police stop and search point along Maiduguri Road in Bamatu, Yobi State, killing seven people. The bomber conveying two women and a teenager in a Toyota Highlander was apprehended at the police checkpoint where the bomb detonated while being searched. Among the dead were two policemen and a passenger on another vehicle coming from Maiduguri which was being searched. Two other policemen and one civilian among the injured are receiving treatment at the General Sanya Bacha Hospital Bamaturu. Meanwhile, the Yobe State Police Command's Explosive Ordnance Department has recovered explosives on one of the dead suspected suicide bombers. The Chief of Army Staff, Major General Tukri Brasai, has challenged guardians of the Special Force to reinforce combat efficiency in counterinsurgency operations in the Northeast to push up the fight against terrorism. This was at the headquarters of the 27th Task Force Brigade, Banatu Yogi State. Defense Correspondent, Mohammed Abdul Kadri, has the report. The 44 member special force displayed mastery in weapon handling, ambush drill, and skirmishes to suppress the power of the adversaries. The chief of army staff, who had earlier paid with the soldiers at the headquarters of the 7th Force Brigade Mosque, said, "The more the sweat in peace time, the less the bleeding in war times." Um, physically, mentally, and spiritually rejuvenated to face these criminals. With the spiritual and physical rejuvenation of the truth, the battle has been handed over to God, and with that, there is victory at the end of the tunnel. At a special barbecue organized for the truth, the leadership of the state and the force, enlivening the spirit and mood of sharing during Salah as Governor Ibrahim Gaidam, the Chief of Army Staff, Major General Chukwu Yusuf Bulatai, and the General Officer Commander Three Chief, Major General Fatah Ali, personally dished out for the soldiers. It was because of their gallantry nature, the situations on ground should have been different. I can assure you that we will not disappoint you in this part of the future of the Nigeria. For the Chief of Army Staff being in my brigade, area of responsibility is a very big moral booster. From the headquarters, 27 task force brigade Damatu Muhammad Abel Kadu, NTNews. A tackling insurgency in the country has been described as the collective effort of all, and therefore there is the need for Nigerians to be fervent in prayers. The Bishop of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, Ola, Right Reverend Makris Ibrahim, stated this at the ordination of 25 priests in Ola, Muhammad Saeedi, with this. It is 
it obvious that prayer is the major tool to fight any ungodly act. This may not be unconnected with the desire to have more clergy on board to pray more especially for the country. In its efforts to contribute to the spiritual development of the nation, the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion Diocese of Lima ordained 25 affirmance of God to various positions in the church. Performing the ordination, the Bishop of the Diocese, right over there, Marcus Ibrahim, said that their coming on board is clearly on merit and asked them to continue to be God affirming. He said that they are coming at a time when prayers are highly needed for the state and the nation. Bishop Marcus Ibrahim therefore asked them to keep the Holy Spirit with them and pray for the security of the people. In his sermon, a visiting pastor, Venerable Marcus Bandita, asked the audience uh, to abide by their oath and remain people of God for the goodness of the society. In Ella, Muhammad Saidu, MPNS. Now the matters now. The National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, John Abidi Oyegu, has commended the Vice Chairman of the Odyssey Traditional Council, Aldo Nijo Ahidiyami the first, for his stabilizing role in ensuring peace in the state. He spoke of the 29th coronation anniversary of the traditional ruler at Okoji. Kelvin Oromiai has more. The Yudu said the rule of traditional rulers in nation building is a moment. So the three highways of Vidya Amin the first, the energy of Okoji, have been further for all, while his invaluable advice to the government of the district is commended in. The district deputy government, Dr. Pius, in the evening presented Governor Adams of Shomali, said to appreciate the traditional ruler, the government has concluded plans to reconstruct Okoji Township Road, which will commence soon. Also coincided with the 60th birthday, called for support for the state government to enable it consolidate on its developmental efforts in the state and attribute its success in the claim to the grace of God in OPG, Kelvin Awonwai, NTN News. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, says its decision to fix the web local government and state congresses in Anambra State District is in obedience of a court directive. The statement said by the PDP National Publicity Secretary, Elisa Metu, in the case of the National Working Committee, believes that the Congresses would help to strengthen PDP structures in the state and pave the way for the final retake of the Anambra State by the party in the next governorship election. The committee assures members that in line with its commitment to internal democracy, every machinery has been put in place to ensure transparent, credible, free and fair processes and it enjoins its members to work together for hitch-free congresses. How to improve the performance of Nigerian students in mathematics? The details after this break. <laughs> Guys, where are you now? The match about to start. So shame, I'm gonna make the trail. Not worry. I want a commentary for you to the target. Stop! Come on! You know what you're supposed to be on that? <laughs> I'm an echo smart talk. No, that's over. I just let him go with my Wow! Now that's smart! Now the match is on. On echo smart talk, you can talk for as long as you want with everyone in Nigeria at the same flat rate at the 11 couple of seconds. <laughs> It's no smart talk. Dial star 315 hash to activate. It's the smartphone network.
Redefining standards. This special plan gets me. It treats me like a legend. When they ask me why I love MTM Super Service Plus, I just say it's too sweet for me. Management Office Nigeria offers you an opportunity to invest in Federal Government of Nigeria bonds. FGN bonds are debt securities of Federal Government of Nigeria issued under the authority of the DMO. FGN bonds offer several benefits to the investor. One, principal and interest are secured by the Federal Government of Nigeria. Two, are listed and traded on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Three, can be used as collateral for borrowing. Four, investors receive regular income in the form of interest payments. Five, can be sold before maturity if they invest needs cash. You can directly contact Standard IBTC stockbrokers who is the government stockbroker or any licensed stockbroker. You can also buy at the primary auction through banks and discount houses. With as little as 10,000 Naira, you can invest in FGN bonds at the primary auction held every month or any business day. Contact Standard IBTC stockbrokers or other licensed stockbrokers today and be part of this great investment opportunity. FGN bonds. Prosperity for all. Would you like some water? It's cold, especially for you. Which era are you living in? We have a fridge. When everything else in your house is from the present, then why are your toilet cleaning methods from the past? Hapik, all in one for you. Compared to other toilet cleaners, Hapik removes top stains, kills all germs, and removes bad odors. For a shining clean and fresh toilet. Wow! You should also take the coffee or in one challenge. We're on to MTA Network News. You can watch our reports and much more on our website www.mta.ng. Uh, you can also get MTA News on the go by following us on Twitter at MTA News Now. And uh, like NG on Facebook at NG Network News. Stay connected with NG News on YouTube at www.youtube.com slash NG News Online. Motorists in the Federal Capital Territory are beginning to breathe for a sigh of relief as most filling stations are now dispensing fuel. Their worry, however, is what happens on the return of motorists who travel out of the city. Alain Kaldu reports. 
locations within the city center are dispensing the product with little or no queue as against the situation over the weekend when few had no product to sell. There were few vehicles at the NNPC mega station in the central area. This lack of queue is replicated in most pump stations visited. Not too long, I got done with them. I'm about to buy the floor now. Today, there's a big relief. I didn't stay up to 20 minutes in the queue. While black marketers are having a field day, as they sell 10 liters of fuel between 2,000 to 2,500 Naira, NCNU is gathered off camera that they get their supply from neighboring states, like Kefi, Silija, and others, which have abundant supply, do at a higher cost. To settle my curiosity, I decided to call our correspondent in Kefi. Well, uh, most police stations by the road here in Kefi are selling. A few of them have uh, fuel lines as in four or five vehicles and they are selling at the rate of 110 and 115. What interventionist measures can be put in place to address this situation? When the doctors are working, the refineries are working, uh, it will reduce uh, the surface and uh, people will uh, assess this product. Efforts to speak with an NNPC official to know the state of supply as motorists express worry over few scarcity in surfacing after celebrate proved abortive. In Abuja, Ola Nkaudu, ATA News. Now this for those who really dread the subject, even the proper students of students in mathematics in external exams, the National Mathematics Center has urged the federal government to declare a state of emergency on the subject. To reverse the trend, Chief Executive Officer of the Center, Professor Abdullah Shulayn, says teaching and learning of mathematics is capital intensive and the center lacks the wherewithal. Franka Uzoma Olua has the details. The event is the 2015 Grand Finale of the Nigerian Mathematics Sciences Olympiad and Rubik Cube Competitions. The National Rubik Cube Competition is one of the innovations of the National Mathematical Center NMC designed to demystify the study of mathematics among students. I really like children because it's fun and it's fast to me. Well, I've actually only tried and then you study, you work hard, you have to work hard. I think the country is only work hard to find that you never had. Chief Executive Officer of the Center, Professor Adawala Sholaren, says inadequate funding has been a major challenge in overcoming the mathematics phobia in the country. We want to share math at the primary level, primary school level. We have 54,000 primary schools. Now, if you are going to reach out to them, we will do this local elementary program. That requires about 2 million per school. So, national emergency means we all realize that mathematics affects everything. So, the presidency should just take that out of education. More than 4,000 participants attended the event. There should be more funding to the center. Because without developing these basic subjects, many other things will happen. Not less than 2,000 medals were presented to students and teachers in the knowledge based event. Nambuja, Santa, Uzama, Olua, NTMUs. As the with education experts in indigenous language have called for the review of the primary education curriculum to include indigenous languages as a subject. To make this position known while speaking as guests on NTA's program, Good Morning Nigeria. I mean, I'm Eugene reports. On the decline of speaking of Nigerian languages following the dominance of the English language, guests attributed it to the belief that embracing modernity means speaking the English language. Um, the wrong notion that for you to uh, be seen to be progressive, you must embrace everything uh, that is uh, English. Uh, everything that is uh, non-indigenous, you must begin to live like you are uh, uh, European in Nigeria. The Nigerian Education Research and Development Council has just brought out a new curriculum. Mm -hmm. And the curriculum says you teach one language, not Nigerian language, it doesn't specify which. They have material that is written in their language. It catches their interest. Amina Mujain, in English. Negotiations return after holidays. The details of this and more with Abdullah Abdu in our Lagos Network Center. Abdullah, 
You certainly didn't go anywhere during the long holidays, did you? No, sir. I didn't go anywhere. I was here in Lagos um, working for NTA. Good evening and welcome to Lagos. With the expiration of the two days public holiday declared by the federal government to mark the Idel Fitri Festival, Lagosians who travel for the celebration are already returning to Lagos. Correspondent Rotimi Onuagbemi, who visited some parks in Lagos, brought back this story presented from our studios. At the Jara Motor Park, one of the buses just returned from Ilori. According to its driver who spoke of camera, the road was free and no accident was recorded. Some of the travelers bear their minds on their journey. You know good at all, you bad at all, Lagos. You know good at all. What at all, you bad at all. You know good at all. All the road, you know good at all. The federal government will help our people. The secretary joined Progressive Transport Services in Jora, Yunusa Aromokale, attributed the safety recorded on the road to the effective campaign of Federal Road Safety Corps and other traffic operatives. If they see it or if there's any overtaking, wrong overtaking, the agent to park, the correct At Jibo Park along the Koroji Road, the situation was different. An officer at the park gave the reason for this. No, the passengers have not yet started coming back. Everybody has seen the, uh, where they are. NTO crew also visited Ajah Park at CMS, where travelers were seen returning from a fair after the celebration. One of the transporters speaks on his experience during the holiday. Generally in the park here, things went us well, without any dance or any disturbance. Work is expected to resume tomorrow after the celebration. The Federal Road Safety Corps has continued with its sensitization campaigns. Officers of the Corps took the campaign to Lagos Badagri Expressway, a major route for picnickers and international travelers. So the psyche followed the campaign train and brought back the support. As it is usually associated with seasons like this, holiday makers and picnickers always visit to cruising centers to have food. Mindful of this during the Sala Festival, the Federal Safety Corps decided to ensure that all road users going out to have fun are well informed on the need to drive safely and be mindful of other road users, especially on the Badagri corridors where people often go to have fun and ever busy transporter travelers. But I've been choosing uh, for specific uh, uh, reason because we have a lot of picnic cars, we have a uh, tourist attraction there, and we know that a lot of people who are already in Badagri for the past three or four days, some of them will be going back. I want to have our presence on the road so that we sensitize them and persuade them not to kill themselves. I think Nigerians are getting more enlightened by the day. Uh, although it's not the major salon, but I can tell you that uh, with our interface with those that traveled this period, it was quite a cordial thing. You now discover that people put on their seatbelts, they are conscious of the speed limit that they are supposed to go, and uh, even the issue of overspeeding was not that too rampant as we thought. Hand beams were distributed, and few reckless drivers were cautioned during the exercise. In Lagos, in the psyche, NTNews. Misunderstanding, distrust and lack of love have been identified as the bane of failed marriages the world over. This was the submission of speakers at this year's marriage seminar tagged Couples Breakfast, organized by Captain Church in Lagos. Lynn Linike has the details. Marriage is a bond between two people that begins with promises which is expected to stand the test of time. However, recent developments have shown most marriages these days do not last due to one problem or another. That is why these forums seek to investigate the causes and proper lasting solutions to the challenges encountered by married people. A lot of bones are breaking, which is something that didn't used to be, especially in this part of the world. We had a family tradition that was holding the homes together, but now the traditions are nowhere. We have embraced the Western culture, and we don't even set it in totality. Especially what we see in the movies, that's what has been the guiding thing, and the homes are breaking, even in the church. The statistics are not different. It's our own corporate social responsibility to society to help grow families. Participants stress the need for couples to find a suitable balance 
between career and building on homes while placing priority on prayers and God as the home builder. God has bundled everything we need for a good marriage in His Word. When we have misunderstandings, how do we resolve it? How do I forgive my spouse? How, how does my spouse forgive me? And we move on. There are challenges here and there, but we know that with God, we help us, we sit us in this marriage. It was agreed at the forum that more of these meetings be organized to help solve problems associated with marriages. In Lagos, Lynn Lenate, NTA News. Why do theatres strive for pitch black? Why do stars shine brightest in a black sky? Why are colours most vibrant in the deepest black? Perfect black creates perfect colour. LG OLED TV Stallion Group, a progressive conglomerate with diversified business presence in more than 18 countries in sectors like agriculture and rice value chain, automobile manufacturing, automobile sales and services, steel manufacturing, mining, fisheries and aquaculture, plastics and polymers, petrochemicals and packaging, port operations, shipping and logistics, warehousing and distribution, fertilizers, real estate, technology and financial services. Stallion Group is dedicated towards its social responsibilities with focus on rural and community development, health care, child welfare and a sustainable environment. Stallion Group is committed to making the lives of our people better by providing quality products at an affordable price. Stallion, proudly Nigerian. Are you still shaving the same old way? Shaving on dry skin can be uncomfortable. Try Gillette Nutri Plus. It has two chromium coated blades and a lubrication spray plus activated by water. You'll be surprised just how smooth Nutri Plus feels. And even more surprised at the affordable price. Gillette Nutri Plus. Surprisingly smooth and affordable. Every goal, every success, deserves your all. Only 100% will do. Chivita, 100%. Chivita 100% juice. Made from real natural fruits. With no preservative and no added sugar. The best always believes in 100%. 100% commitment. 100% quality. 100% achievement. With 100% goodness and real taste of fruit. Cheetah, 100% or nothing. A hectic lifestyle or overeating can cause a burning pain in your chest. Take Gaviscon. One dose released in three minutes to soothe the pain of heartburn. It goes straight to the source to work for hours, providing long-lasting relief. That's why I recommend Gaviscon. I recommend Gaviscon. Gaviscon, fast relief you can actually feel. If symptoms persist after three days, consult your doctor. A hectic lifestyle or overeating can cause a burning pain in your chest. That's hot. Take Gaviscon. One dose released in three minutes to soothe the pain of heartburn. It goes straight to the source to work for hours, providing long-lasting relief. That's why I recommend Gaviscon. I recommend Gaviscon. Gaviscon, fast relief you can actually feel. If symptoms persist after three days, consult your doctor.
Tree Exotic Nectar and Pineapple Coconut, Multi Fruita and other exotic flavors. The taste will take you there. Tree Exotic Nectar, Cape to Paradise. So, what's an empty and important news now for some business news? Greek bonds reopened after three weeks shutdown, but uh, fit cash withdrawal limit of 420 euros per week. The details on business news is shown to me. Alright, let's talk business now. A call for proper personnel audits at both local and state governments are again distressed. The former Minister of State for Niger Delta, Sam Ode, made this call during an interview with NCA Business News. Lisa believes will help cut financial excesses at this level of government and provide funding for capital projects. If we are able to do a, a proper audit of personnel at the state and local government level, you can free quite a lot of money, even for capital uh, uh, investment. Moving ahead now, a quick review of trading activities on the nation's boards where the stock market opened for. Four trading sessions last week as the federal government of Nigeria declared Friday 18th and Monday 20th of July public holidays for either future celebration. Index movements indicates that the NFC L share index and market capitalization depreciated by 2.15% and 1.92% to close trading for the week on Thursday at 31,047.99 basis points and 10.628 trillion naira, respectively. Market watchers believe the downward trend will still continue as the market is also expected to trade for four days this week following the continuation of Idea Fit Trade Holiday. And on the foreign sale, great banks are reopening after three weeks of closures sparked by the deadlock over the country's debt. Keys at ATMs have been a feature of life in Greece for weeks, with people waiting in line each day to withdraw a maximum of 60 euro a day. A restriction imposed amid fears of a run on banks. From this Monday, however, the daily limit becomes a weekly one, capped at 420 euro, meaning Greeks will not have to queue every day. And that's the party on business news for now. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Simon. As in Tandem programs for the 2015 Hajj, look forward to August the 18th for the inaugural flight signaling the commencement of the Hajj season. The National Hajj Commission has called on states and Muslim pilgrims welfare agencies to ensure pilgrims receive proper orientation on the rights of Hajj and good conduct. And then Hassan Abdullahi has an overview of preparations by the Commission. As the August 18th date draws nearer, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria intensifies preparations for a successful takeoff. To this end, several committees tasked with different responsibilities from health, consular, accommodation, transportation, public enlightenment and feeding have been dispatched to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to engage relevant stakeholders to ensure pilgrims achieve a successful Hajj. Well, imagine people coming to stay in five star hotel in the Kashiya in the Madina. These services require periods of the environment. Not eating on the, the bedroom, we are so extra. So we need to educate our people and how to use this knowledge that for future we need to give them this knowledge to be used. We are fully prepared, we have inspected the house and uh, we have done all the arrangements for feeding and uh, the guys on ground. The Commission had also sponsored some officials to monitor the country. So just left the end part of that report there. We'll take another break for more messages. Stay with us. This week, Tuesday Live with those who should know. It was a decisive, interactive, educated and engaging. Don't be told. Join us. Names and designs. You never look back. Not in those days. Vanessa! Like to move it, move it. But not in those days. Today, no more issues because too soon. Always rock the lip with inside up to eight hours. No thing, no check. I'm in a no check mode. No check mode. Especially for you. Which era are you living in? We have a fridge. 
when everything else in your house is from the present, then why are your toilet cleaning methods from the past? Hapik, all in one for you. Compared to other toilet cleaners, Hapik removes soft stains, kills all germs, and removes bad odors. For a shining clean and fresh toilet. Wow! You should also take brown Hapik, all in one challenge. Some of you have asked if it's alright to use hand wash detergent in your washing machine. The answer is no. Our washing machines are designed to give you the best possible clean. That's why we recommend new Aerial Automatic Detergent. It's specially formulated for your machine and contains up to two times more stain fighting ingredients than normal hand wash detergent. To give you brilliant stain removal in one wash. New Aerial Automatic, number one brand recommended by LG Nigeria. Let's now link up our Sukhdu Network Center for more reports. Bella, it's over to you. Thank you, children, and welcome to Sukhdu. Nigeria has taken necessary protocol to ensure peaceful resolution to settle border conflicts between it and the New Republic. As well, Abdullah Shibu has the details. The Nigerian Karachi to the first President Muhammad Buhari directed that necessary protocols should be put in place to resolve the lingering issues between Nigeria and the New Republic. The governor added that the President assured that territorial integrity of Nigeria will always be respected and promised relentless effort to settle the lingering disputes. He said more security has been deployed in the area to show federal government commitment and confirm it to the alleged recent incursion by the new and promised to maintain peace and harmony in the area. He therefore urged the communities to behave in peaceful manner as the matter of the federal government affair which is already acting upon it. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs should get involved with our counterparts. The Boundary Commission should do their bit so that we have a trouble and we try to resolve this in a friendly uh, neighborliness. The boundary dispute between Nigeria and the New Republic started over a decade ago. In 2009, some people from the New Republic attacked a village called Tengal Kenji and Nigerian soil. Subject to the boundary commission, the area of contention is from Pila 35 to the point where Nigeria and the Gar and the New Republic share triple tight boundary. Other issues discussed during the visit include the illegal forest logging and the use of chemicals as well as wrong fishing nets in the Nigeria. Thank you, Bala. Senegal's former Chadian President Hussein Habri on trial over alleged crimes against humanity as both flu spreads across West Africa. Plus, Cuba and the United States restore relations. These are non level tidbits with Gibral Chad's former president, Hussein Habri, 72, has been in custody in Senegal since his arrest in June 2013. The trial in Dakar, Senegal, marks the first time one African country has prosecuted the former leader of another. Habri has denied being responsible for hundreds of deaths during his rule from 1982 to 1990. In another development, a United Nations Food Agency says a highly contagious strain of avian flu is spreading across West Africa, heightening fears the virus might jump from birds to humans. Away from health issues, Egypt has taken delivery of three fighter jets from France, the first of 24 warplanes in a $5.6 billion deal sealed last year. And from the Americas, Cuba and United States have formally restored diplomatic relations after decades of hostility. The diplomatic missions of each country now full embassies. That's Global TV. Gabriel Udu, NTNU. Sports now Nigerian athletes intensify preparation for all Africa Games as February is date for FIFA presidential elections. And Nigerian Marcus has two details.
Nigerian athletes who represented their motherland at the forthcoming World Africa Games in Congo Brazzaville have placed places and compete clean. Weight lifters and wrestlers made the plate Monday at the package B section of the Abuja National Stadium when the Director General of the National Sports Commission, Al Hasli Yakmut, visited the athletes preparing for the September Games. Yakmut expressed sadness on the past incidents of doping involving Nigerian athletes in international competitions, saying such must stop. So what we are trying to do here is to ensure that every hour, every day, every week, every month, to the second of September, when the All Africa Games will commence, is not technically wasted. Super Falcons acting coach Christopher Benzema is confident that Nigeria will leave nothing to chance when they take on Okotoa Guinea in the second leg third round qualifier for the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Benjima, who spoke alongside team captain Evin Wabuku, said the players who have overcome the shock of the death of Gracious Akujobi, who was until last Thursday media officer of the team. In accordance with the promise of Sablata in June 2015, after his re-election for another fifth term in office, FIFA has fixed 26 of February 2016 as day for an extraordinary congress to elect Blatter's successor. So Blatter was re-elected as president of FIFA on May 29 in Zurich, Switzerland, but resigned four days later following investigations into corruption in FIFA. Those contesting for the office of FIFA president are to be nominated before October 26. With course, news update, Amanzi Marcus. NTNs. of the late Liberose Chinya Riasika, the wife of the late administrator of former East Central State, Upa Riasika, continued with a day of tribute put together in Enugu by the Pahaneze Indigo organization. She will be welcome to Naji. The day of tribute commenced with a procession among major graves in Enugu metropolis, known as Ichamade in Ubo, to register their grief on the demise of an illustrious daughter. In their words of tribute, speakers at the event said the wife of the late administrator of the old East Central State, who died at 76, played a vital role in empowering rural women through her humanitarian services during and after her husband's tenure. <laughs> Africa will be buried on Friday, 24th July 2015 in her husband's hometown, Odeza Odisha, in Anambra State, in Enugu, Shimadureka Maji, in Tunis. It was a wet Monday in the FCT. Well, let's see what the weather would look like across the country tomorrow.
PPN on the network service of the NTA. Thank <laughs> you.